Well then, I guess this is the only choice I have left. I'll hire a kidnapper to kidnap Amelia instead. Stop right there! You! You're coming with me! I have a few conditions that you'll have to accept. If you don't accept them, then you're never going to see Amelia again. Well then, I guess this is the only choice I have left. I've been trying really hard to separate Amelia and Rob, but nothing is working out. They both trust each other a lot, so they're never going to separate willingly. Then, I only have one option left. I'll have to force them to separate. I have to put Rob in a position where he has no choice but to fall in love with me, or else he'll risk losing Amelia. I wanted to save the money I have left so I can buy the most expensive Gucci bag, but I'll hire a kidnapper to kidnap Amelia instead. I don't care how crazy this sounds, I'm desperate. If I don't find a rich man right now, then I won't have any money left to survive. I'll be on the streets with no money left. This is the only option I have left now. I either do this or I spend the rest of my life without money. And my family always looking down on me. I won't let that happen. Amelia, you're finished. <laughs> hey kids, Jane, Drake, Martin, your breakfast is ready. Come down and eat it quickly. I need to leave for work soon. Come on, don't keep mom waiting. Did you have to make breakfast so early, Mom? You could have made it a bit later. I was still sleeping. You weaklings. I was up all night playing Roblox. I reach level 200 in this unbeatable obby. I'm a literal god in this game. You both should get on my level. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you really need to go outside and touch grass, Drake. You stayed up all night playing an obby, and you're proud of it? I think that says it all. You're just jealous that you're not as good as me. That's not my fault. If you played Roblox more, you might have been even better than me. But you stopped playing recently and started reading more books like a nerd. You're such a nerd, Martin. You'll never catch up to me on Roblox now. <laughs> Calm down, kids. You're here to have breakfast, not argue. But Drake, you can't stay up all night playing video games all the time. It's Fine to do it sometimes, but if you start doing it regularly, then I'll have to take all your games away and ground you. What? But mom, that's not fair! It's not good for your health to stay up that long, Drake. I'm doing it for you. Ha! <laughs> that's what you get for being so annoying, you weirdo. Go play some more of that obby now, Drake. I hope you fall from level 200 all the way down to level zero. The next time we play Roblox, I'm not going easy on you! Kids, I'm serious. Eat your breakfast. I need to leave for work soon. You can have a pancake eating contest or something, okay? Save Roblox for later. All right then, Martin. I challenge you. If you finish your pancakes before me, you get to play all my games for a week. If I finish my pancakes before you, then I get all of your games for a week. How does that sound? Unless you're too scared, of course. I know you're just a little chicken, Martin. Oh, I'm ready. You're going to lose this bet, Drake. You should have picked another challenge because you won't be able to play any games for a week by the time I'm done with you. Ugh, boys are so annoying. Sorry, Mom. I'll eat my breakfast right now. Hey, Amelia. You leaving for work already? No, not yet. I'm waiting for the kids to finish their breakfast so that I can put the dishes back in the kitchen. Oh, all right then. I'm gonna head out now. Already running a little bit late. You're looking gorgeous today, by the way. As always. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. You're looking really handsome, too. There's a really good movie out right now in the cinema near us. and I was wondering if you want to go out and watch it with me tonight. I want to watch a movie! I want to go! I want to go! Oh, kids. Well, it's not the kind of movie that kids should be watching, Jane. I think it's best if you just watch a cartoon movie with your brothers tonight. The movie I want to see with your mom is only for adults. That's not fair! Why do you both always get to watch adult movies? Oh, I want to watch them too! 
You can watch him when you grow up, but not right now. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I would love to watch the movie with you. It's been a while since I went to the movie theater anyways, so it'll be fun. You go there every week though, don't you? Hey, not every week. That's a bit much. Lately, I've only been going once a month because, well, there haven't been any good movies coming out lately. All right, I'll pick you up from work at around six then. Sound good, babe? Yay! Sounds awesome. All right, see you later. Have a good day at work. Mom, why are you always so shy in front of Dad? You're always blushing whenever he calls you pretty. It's like you're in high school all over again. <laughs> no, no, that's... that's not true. <laughs> see, there it is! You're blushing again! Oh my gosh, Mom! <laughs> you're always blushing whenever you're around him. <clears throat> no, that's not true. I'm not shy around him, alright? I win! Ah, oh, that was so easy. It sucks to be you, Drake. Now I get to play all your games. No, no, there's no way! It can't be! It's impossible! He couldn't have beaten me! He couldn't have! It's impossible! I refuse to believe this! <laughs> oh, I'm getting excited, Drake. I can't believe you lost to in a pancake-eating contest of all things. Huh, I wonder what game I should play first. Wait, I know! I'll make you fall from level 200 to level 0 in your unbeatable obby. That'll teach you some manners. Shane, you're in charge of the house. Why are we still here? came for lunch with us today, even though you didn't come with us yesterday, Amelia. <laughs> she's our boss, so she's obviously always going to be really busy. But I'm glad she found the time for lunch today. Every chance we get to talk to her outside of her office is special, because we barely see her outside of her office. <laughs> like I said to Wallace, that's because I go straight home after work is done. I'm going to watch a movie tonight with my husband. Oh, wow, that's great. Hey, Kyler, you want to watch a movie with me, too? Nice try, Wallace. But it's not going to be that easy. Wow, should have tried harder. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wallace, Kyler, you both would look so cute together, though. Really? Amelia, you got any advice on how to attract girls and make them like you, then? You should show the girl that you actually care about her. I think that's the most important thing. Listen to what she says and show her that you are actually interested in her. And if you do that, I'm sure she's going to like you. Wow, that's pretty simple advice, but it still makes perfect sense. I'm gonna try Amelia's advice on you then, Kyler. <laughs> Good luck, Wallace. <laughs> All right, I have to leave now. I have a meeting in five minutes. Already? But you just got here! I'm sorry, guys, but, uh, maybe we can have lunch again tomorrow? Alright, <laughs> see you! Stop right there! You! You're coming with me! What? Who are you? What do you want from me? I'm not coming with you! Get lost! I wasn't asking you. I was telling you, get in the van or I'll make you! I'm not getting in the van! I said it before and I'm saying it again! Fine! I'll carry you to the van myself! Jeez, 
just wonder what's taking Amelia so long. I told her I'd be here at this time and pick her up from work and that we'd go to the cinema and watch the movie, but I don't see her anywhere. I've been waiting for 20 minutes now. Maybe I should go in and check on her. I bet she just lost track of time while working. Amelia isn't here. That's funny. Where could she be? Wallace and Kyler probably know where she is. I'll ask them. Hey, guys, you happen to see Amelia anywhere? I was supposed to pick her up about 20 minutes ago, but I can't find her anywhere and she's not picking up her phone either. I thought Amelia would be with you. I haven't seen her since she left after having lunch with us and said that she had a meeting. Lunch? What do you mean? Me, Kyler, and Amelia went to get some lunch, but then Amelia said she needed to leave because she had a meeting, so we only got to see her for a few minutes. Figured she would have a meeting in her office, but when me and Kyler came back, she wasn't there. Her office was empty, so we were both pretty confused. We figured that the meeting might have been in another place outside the office, or I don't know, maybe she got tired from work and went home. But you haven't seen or heard from her either? She said that she was going to see a movie with you tonight, too. That's what she told us anyways. Hmm, this is making me feel really uneasy. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate the help. And if you happen to see her or talk to her, please let me know as soon as possible, okay? Where are you? Why aren't you picking up my calls? Ugh, I hope everything's alright. <sighs> oh, finally, Amelia. What? This isn't Amelia. Unknown number. I haven't saved this in my contacts. I don't have time for this. Hey, who is this? You better have a good reason for calling me or I- <laughs> Hey babe, what's up? I know you miss me a lot, so I decided to call and check up on you. I want to have dinner with you tonight. Are you free? Uh, Susan, now's not the right time to be annoying me. I already told you, not interested in you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I'm blocking your number right now. But if you block my number, you'll never know where Amelia is. Are you sure you want to do that, Rob? What? So you know where Amelia is? You did this, didn't you? You've gone crazy, Susan. What did you do? Don't worry. <laughs> She's safe. At least for now. But if you want to see her again, then I have a few conditions that you'll have to accept. If you don't accept them, then you're never going to see Amelia again. <laughs> God, you're delusional. I'm never going to accept your conditions or anything from you. I can't trust you. God, I can't believe you would go to such ridiculous lengths. You're the worst gold digger I've ever seen. Don't call me that. You're in no position to be talking to me like that. I have all the power right now. If you talk to me like that again, I promise you're never going to see Amelia again. Now listen to my conditions. If you accept them, I'll let Amelia go. <sighs> what are your conditions? My first condition is that you're going to talk to Amelia and give her custody for your children too. Rob, you're never going to see her or your kids ever again. My second condition is that you're going to marry me after divorcing her. And you'll stay with me forever. My third condition, Rob, is that you're going to give me 80% of the shares of your business. If you meet all three conditions, I'll let Amelia go. Is that clear? Have you lost your mind? I'm never going to accept that. I'll never leave my wife and family for you. <laughs> Since I am so nice, I'm giving you an hour to think about it. Remember, if you don't accept these conditions, then you're never going to see Amelia ever again. Choose wisely. Susan's <sighs> unbelievable! I can't believe she would do something like this. This is even worse than I expected her to be. She's gonna regret trying to take Amelia away from me. She has no idea who she's messing with. <laughs> Looks like Rob is going to be all mine, Amelia. He's going to have no choice but to divorce you and marry me because he loves you too much to lose you. He won't be able to stand it if something happened to you. Not only am I going to marry him, but I'm going to get 80% of his business shares too. And after a few years, I'll take all his money for myself. He is going to be poor, just like Harry. Mm -hmm. 
You're never going to change, are you, Susan? This is exactly why Harry divorced you. No man will ever be happy with you because the only thing you care about is money. The fact that you hired someone to kidnap me is proof that you're a selfish person who only thinks about herself. I mean, you're doing this just so you could get Rob's money. This shows what kind of person you are deep down. I mean, I can't believe you are so childish, Susan. You're not getting away with this. And trust me, you're finished. Stop this right now or else. Or else? <laughs> or else what, Amelia? Who's going to stop me, huh? You? Rob? None of you can do anything to me. Rob has no idea where you are right now. We are miles away from the city and no one in Brookhaven can find you except for us. This is the perfect place to hide you. No one ever comes here too. Most people don't even know about this construction site. No one's going to find you. So if you have any hope that Rob is going to magically appear and rescue you, then you're mistaken. Huh? What? No way! Why am I hearing police sirens? <laughs> I told you, Susan, you're finished. up where we can see them. No, 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 please don't arrest me. I'm sorry. Please, officers, I'm really sorry. You can have Amelia back. I'm sorry. We're both under arrest. You're gonna have a really good time in jail. And your friend's coming with you. We're sorry we couldn't get here sooner, but we got here as early as possible. Your husband and his friend are waiting for you outside. You should go and see him. My husband and his friend? Wait, which friend did he bring along? And what, anyway, anyways, don't worry about it. You came at a perfect time, and thank you so much for saving my life. I was getting really worried there for a second. Amelia, I was so worried about you. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rob. Thank you so much for saving me. What is Harry doing here? And how did you find me so quickly? If I'm being honest, I might not have been able to find you without Harry's help. After Susan called me and started threatening me, I called Harry and asked him if he had anything to do with this. He said he had no idea. I trusted him since he told you that he didn't want to stay with Susan anymore at Brooks Diner. Harry has tracking devices on all of his cars, and the car Susan used to kidnap you, well, that was one of his. So we were able to track where the car went, and that's how we found you here. I'm really sorry for what happened, Amelia. I never thought Susan would go this far. I kicked her out of the house yesterday, so that's probably why she became super desperate. I'm really sorry once again. <laughs> it's fine, Harry. You just saved my life. I mean, thank you so much. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Those words mean a lot to me, Amelia. So, um, do you forgive me now? I am really, really sorry for how I treated you back then. I know we can never get back together again. I've already accepted that. Rob is the perfect man for you, and I know that for a fact. But I know you have a lot of hatred in your heart for what I did to you ten years ago, and I'm genuinely sorry for that. If you could forgive me, that would mean the world to me. Don't worry, Harry. I forgive you. You're not the same man you used to be, and you've definitely learned from your mistakes. And the past is in the past. Thank you so much. I'm really happy now. I'm going to find a new girl now. It's definitely not going to be a gold digger like Susan. <laughs> you have to let us meet the girl before you make any moves on her. Can't have you dating another gold digger now, can we, Harry? Please, make sure that the next girl you date won't be so crazy. <laughs> <laughs>